Welcome to Scrapyard Armory. Hey guys, welcome to Scrapyard Armory. My name is Robert. Today we are going to be shooting our homemade black powder golf ball gun. We're going to be using 360 grains of powder in regular golf balls, and we're going to shoot a bunch of stuff with it. Let's get started. All right, so for our first target, we took a bucket, we filled it with water, we suspended it here. We're going to go shoot it at 25 yards, see what happens. Sorry, though, guy. Okay, we've got our hanging bucket of water 25 yards away. Let's see what we can do. Well, <laughs> let's see that. if we can recover. Hey. There it is. Look at that hole. Yep. Beautiful. Let's set up the next target. Okay, well, we saw what it does to a five gallon bucket of water. Now we're gonna see what it does to this plywood target we made. We made this using half inch sheets of plywood, spaced roughly a foot apart. We're gonna see how many layers it'll go through. Me personally, I am predicting two layers, stopping on the third. We'll see how close I am. All right, layered plywood target, 25 yards. Let's see what happens. Uh. I don't know if you caught that, I bumped, the, I bumped the trigger before I was ready. Accidental discharge, but it still hit the target. So let's go see what happened. That's interesting. One, two, three. Well, it did better than I thought. I thought it would go through too. That's a nice clean hole. Here's our golf ball. Reusable ammunition. That's pretty cool. Well, not bad. I, th I predicted two, stopping on three. It actually went through three, stopping on four. And we can reuse the ammunition. That's pretty impressive. All right, well, we saw what our gun does to a five gallon bucket of water. We've seen what it did to our layered plywood target. Now let's see what it does to this car door. Okay, homemade black powder golf ball gun, 42.7 millimeter. 360 grains of 2F black powder in a golf ball and a car door. <laughs> well, right here, right behind here is where this golf ball hit. This is a super stout piece of metal. It just happened to hit directly right there. It bowed this piece out, but of course could not penetrate that. Yeah, there just happens to be that darn support back there behind that door. And there's no way a golf ball was going to go through both. But that, uh, that would sure hurt. Still did a heck of a lot of damage to that door. We're not happy now. So now we're going to go do it again. Homemade black powder gun, 360 grains of powder, golf ball, car door, second shot. Boom. 
Holy cow. That felt good. All right. Well, you can see this is where the first golf ball hit, and you've got that two layers of metal support right behind it. Uh, again, there was no way a golf ball was going to go through all that. You get past that support, which is actually just right in here. And you can see we had no problem punching through metal. So here's our recovered SpongeBob. And uh, that was a good shot. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed it. We shot our five gallon bucket. We shot our plywood target. We shot our car door. Um, we just want to introduce you to one of our products here. And uh, we do have some ballistics gel tests in the works. If there's anything you guys would like to see us shoot a golf ball through um, or attempt to shoot a golf ball through, let us know. We'll see if we can make that happen. We'd like to thank everybody for uh, that pitched into the making of this thing for helping make it happen. And again, we'd like to give a shout out to H&M Auto Repair and Marfa Texas for donating the car door for us today. And uh, thank you for watching.